What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a player review, a legend review of the three new legends that dropped today on the 14th of June. So we've got Peter Schmeichel, Paul Scholes and Dennis Law, three United legends. Obviously me being a huge United fan, I'm kind of torn because I don't really fancy putting in the money, like the extra money after um, after chasing Roberto Carlos and that. If you didn't check out my pack open in the last day, check that out. But um, I don't know are Schmeichel Scholes and Dennis Law going to change my team too much when I have my ultimate team kind of ready to go, like my actual ultimate finalised starting 11. You know, is Scholes going to take over from Goretzka? Is Schmeichel going to be better than uh, Donnarumma and Goals? And Dennis Law is probably not going to be as good as Romario up front, but... I am a huge United fan, so I am torn. Let me know what you guys think, but we are going to be checking these players out and we are going to be starting with Schmeichel and then heading over to eFootballDB after we look at the player profile here. I'm going to be heading over to eFootballDB to check out their stats and stuff and what they train up to. So yeah, Schmeichel, lads, I think he looks decent. Obviously one of the best keepers of all time. Yeah, call me a little bit biased, you know, but he was unbelievable in the Premier League. All my memories growing up of watching the Premier League or the Premiership that was known back then, I mean, this guy was absolutely insane. He was just such an unbelievable keeper. And then obviously Van der Sar came in after him, um, you know, after a couple of a couple of dodgy ones. But uh, yeah, I mean, he was just an incredible keeper, lads. And again, you can see the stats here. 87 refle reflexes, 87 goalkeeper reach. That is huge. You know, that is huge. Uh, the B form is massive for the legends. That's the real incentive, I think. Anyone that knows that they've played a couple of matches and they've got their players on down form arrow. He's also got unwavering form, which especially for a goalkeeper, I know a few of you guys in the comments were talking about it the last day in one of my videos. Unwavering for a goalkeeper is massive because you don't need to have a, a, a substitute keeper then, you know, because if you get Schmeichel, he's never, ever going to be down. You know, maybe like one in like 50 games, he might have a bad form arrow. And even at that, that's just going to be a normal one um, or maybe down a little bit. So um, it is a huge advantage to have somebody like Schmeichel there. And when we look at his actual stats, right, he's got 87 reflexes. If we go over to eFootballDB.com and we train this guy up, right, we're going to be looking at his stats here, which are the 80, 87 reflexes. That is, in my opinion, the most important. So for me, I would be playing out wide. I would probably put him to 90 on the team play style down at the bottom right there. And then we're talking about just boosting up his stats. I mean, we can get this to a 94 and then we could obviously just pump up a few here, uh, clear and goalkeeper reach, and then we could pump into one there. He goes up to a 93 rated keeper. That's insane. I mean, the 94 goalkeeper reflexes, you could even, you know, you could take that back and get two points back and boost that up there as well. Um, like absolutely incredible stats there. He is a bit slow. Obviously, you don't need your keepers to be, you know, super, super um, speedy. But I do think him having the unwavering form, I think his balance, his height, or not his balance, sorry, his actual like stats, his goalkeeper presence, his physique, he is very similar to Donnarumma. You know, if you look at the Donnarumma that I have, you can check him out on the other video that I've done. Train in Donnarumma. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, physical contact as well, 79. That's quite decent. But yeah, for me, I think Schmeichel is probably the pick of the bunch. He's kind of the only one that really rivals the top, top keepers and Oliver Kahn. And there's, there's guys outside. I don't know what they're doing. They're making loads of noise. I'm not too sure if you guys can hear it, but they're sawing and they're angle grinding and they're everything. But um, I'm going to have to go out and double foot lunge tackle them now in a minute. So don't stop annoying me because it's very loud in my ear, lads. I hope you guys aren't picking it up too much on the mic. So next up, we have got Pauli Scholzi, one of my favorite players of all time for United. Obviously overshadowed by Roy Keane um, because I was Irish and stuff. But yeah, he was absolutely incredible centre midfielder, lads. He's got the orchestrator player card, which is a very, very good one for his centre midfielder. He's also got 12 levels. So Schmeichel only had what we were thinking, eight levels. Scholes has a little bit more potential to be able to grow and to be able to mould him into the exact player that you want. Now, if you've got a top class centre midfielder, like Pedri or like Goretzka or one of the players that you might have got in the power packs or somebody that you've just trained up to be a, like a kind of a low uh, 90s player. Um, I think that Scholes isn't going to really change the dial too much for you. And there's a couple of reasons for this. I would say one of the biggest ones is his, uh, is his speed, right? Obviously, his speed can be trained up a little bit, but that speed being at 70, that's not where you want to really put 
your you know your your actual stats now also on top of that he is only able to play center midfielder as his register position and then he's able to play amf ss left or right wing or mid um so i do think that he is a fantastic player to have but are you going to play him you know as an orchestrator are you going to play him as kind of like i would say a stevie g type player that he's kind of roaming in or a frankie lampard type player instead of dominating passing wise I think that you're going to have to, you know, kind of use all his player skills. One touch pass, first time shot, uh, dip and shot, rise and shot, long range shooting. If you are a good shooter and if you are a good guy that can do the stunning shots, I think Skulls could bang him in for you. Like if we head over again to eFootball DB here, we're going to have Skullsy. He is level 87 from his default. Obviously, he can play a mixture of um, any formations. We'll give him three points there. Or actually, we just give him two points there to bring him up to 85. And then we're going to concentrate on what makes him scolzy. You know what I mean? So we'll boost up his dexterity just a little bit, just to increase his balance and his speed. And then we'll try and get this to 75. And we have 10 points left over. So from here, I thought his passing would be a little bit better. Obviously, he's kind of more of a box-to-box -box player. But lofted passes is, is kind of a useless stat, I would say, for how most people play. Unless you are playing like wide, you know, branching balls across the pitch and spreading it out as far as you can. Um, I would definitely think maybe concentrate on his like, I don't know, I won't say defensive side. You could do it defensive because he has 77 defensive engagement. You could raise that up a little bit. But I would say just kind of like make him an all-rounder. You know, you want to make your center midfielder as the main guy, the main link, especially if you play a three-man midfield or you play a 4-4-2. You need to have your center midfielder or your attacking midfielder linking between the DMF and the strikers or else the center backs and the strikers. You know, like that quick pass and then touch and go given the option to run so i think if you boost him up a little bit here obviously the shooting is obviously going to be going to be big as well but i wouldn't put too much into that and i would probably just focus on his um his passing and his dribbling and kind of have him as a 93 overall player um he still to me doesn't really change the dial it's not going to change the dial too much or move the dial too much um i thought his low pass would be at least maybe 87 88 and you wouldn't have to upgrade it but his dribbling and his tight possession is quite low for a CMF if you're playing him that way. Now, if you wanted to just play him literally as kind of like that totty in the hole, right? You could just put him right here and you could take away a bit of his speed and then you could be just plowing that into his passing and his shooting and you could turn him into kind of like a slower base player that is just picking passes and shooting on sight when he gets the ball in that attacking midfielder role. So moving on to the last one, we have got... Last but not least, we have got Dennis Law. Again, younger fans like me have never probably seen Dennis Law play apart from YouTube clips and stuff, but <clears throat> he was an exceptional player. Excuse me, lads. I'm very, very throaty coffee today. Look at his stats, right? So nothing really stands out to me here. Obviously, he's got unwavering form. They all have that. Um, he's got some really nice player skills like soul control, heading, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, which seems to be a bit more rare this year. One touch pass, aerial superiority. You look at his jumping and his heading, that's where he's kind of going to come into his own. But the problem is his height. So a lot of the players this season, the way they've balanced the strikers is they've met him either like the, the, the good strikers, like the really good strikers have usually got good balance. Like I'm talking Romario, I'm talking like uh, Mbappe, players like that. Dennis Law, his height and his lack of balance is, is a huge downgrade. Uh, <coughs> Jesus, lads, my throat um from what we're used to getting so like his balance at 67 is is very poor in my opinion and like for the top class strikers in the game he's not going to be able to lead the line as well as some of the other guys right like obviously he has got some really decent stats but how many goals do you score like from headers and how many goals do you score from kind of like breaking the line the last line of defense so if we head over one last time to eFootball db you can see that the issues do start to come here, even though he's got 14 levels and we give him, you know, say his two with uh, out wide, to, that only brings it to 70. So we need to pump in a few more into his play style. He's very low play style unless you're playing long ball, um, which again, most people aren't going to play, but like boosting up his speed a little bit here, right? To bring it to 85, which I think you definitely need and bringing this to maybe 80, you're only left with six points of where you can put it. So if you are having this guy as kind of like a, bringing him on in the last 20 minutes to kind of score a goal for you or something like that i do think you probably just need to pump it into finishing um he has got an extremely high offensive awareness skill uh, or rating which is 94 um and then on top of that he's got his jump 
but the physical contact and the balance is very low for a center forward that's going to lead the line for you especially with how i would play um but let me know what you guys think he's got a couple of more points there that we could jump uh, jump in his dribbling and stuff isn't the highest either it only goes to 80 now if we wanted to go the opposite route and turn him into kind of like just a kind of a predator um a fox in the box type player we can actually bring up his uh his stats quite well like if we were to take this down here and take this down to 80 because it's not all about speed i understand that but it is a huge thing but if we were to just boost up his header here to 90 we're going to have, you know, jump 99 and header 90, which is, you know, massive. We wouldn't even need that. We could just bring it at that 98 and 88. And then you'd be talking about putting the head, the shooting in as well. So you'd be talking about 89 finishing, 80 acceleration, 88 header and 98 jump, which is incredible. If he was another like five or six centimeters, I think he would be unbelievable he would be like cristiano ronaldo in the air um but i do think that his lack of height his lack of balance and his lack of physical contact unless you're playing like a three man up front and crossing balls in willy-nilly i think he you're going to struggle with dennis law but again if you are a united fan such as me it would be class to play with him so that is it for me lads i will be back quite soon with another episode of this where we look at the other players that have been released the breakout stars until next time i will talk to you later lads peace